cat cafe, it looks different in different places, but it's, it's basically a place where people can go to hang out with cats. The concept is people can grab coffee, people can grab tea, bakery treats, um, and come and spend time with the cats. And it's usually the best for people, not just for adoption, but for people who have someone at home that has allergies, they can't have a cat, their landlords won't let them have um, a cat, or in our case, you, they've lost a cat and they're not ready to have another one, but they want to be around cats. Some cat cafes, mostly in Europe and Asia, the cats are resident cats, they live there. But in the United States, most of the cat cafes in the United States partner with a, a shelter or a rescue so the cats can also be adopted. We get the cats from two organizations. One is called Paws Wakefield, which has cats in foster homes, and the other is um, Pals in Salem, and they work out of the PetSmart. When a cat is in a cage in a shelter or at the pet smart or they're in a foster home, a potential adopter can't see them in action. So it's really hard for um, those cats to get seen. If you're a shy cat or if you're scared or if you have medical needs, people get turned off to them really quickly. And we find a lot of times you take a cat out of a cage and you bring them here and they're like, Life's really, really good. This allows us to give them a place to roam free, get to see other cats, get a lot of affection from other people. They get used to, in the course of their stay here, they get used to a lot of people, they get used to a lot of surfaces, they get used to being around other cats so that when someone wants to have bring a cat from here into a home with a cat, we can tell them what their personality is. So we see cats' personalities really bubble up and shine here. So people who are really into cats have read about cat cafes all over the world and seen videos, but there's not really anything around here. So people drive really far. We've had people drive two, two and a half hours, regularly drive an hour, hour and a half um, to see um, what it's all about. Like we've got a couple of cats here that are 12 years old, 11 years old. They might not get adopted, but if this is where they live out their life and they get care and they get love from people every day, that's great. But yes, we've had 11 adoptions. It's great. I love seeing the pictures of people coming, you know, from their forever home. It's wonderful. This is not very camera shy. <laughs>